with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Well, a standard 4th of July weekend as far as conditions go here in southwest Idaho. You expect it to be warm, you hope it will be sunny, and it has been both with temperatures right around average both yesterday and today. Here is a look at Boise from the top of the Grove Hotel. We see clear skies, a little bit of haze gathering in the valley, nothing to be concerned about, uh, but just sunshine here in the valley. Here's a look at uh, Payette Lake throughout the afternoon. You notice those clouds popping up along the mountain just to the north of Payette Lake there. Uh, those just being the result of a little bit of air hitting those mountains rising up and there's enough moisture in the air that those clouds pop up. But a beautiful day on the lake, 76 degrees right now from our lake cam. And the next couple of days, well, some change coming our way. It will be a beautiful day tomorrow if you're one of those who has Monday off rather than having Friday off for the holiday. A nice day on the lake with a temperature of 80 degrees and lots of sunshine. We'll see some clouds move in on Tuesday as a weak disturbance comes through. That will lead to the possibility of those clouds that pop up over the mountains getting a little more significant and producing some thunderstorms. So that is a possibility, but just in mountain locations. And as you can see in McCall on Tuesday, it's only a 20% chance. But temperatures will drop by about 10 degrees for those afternoon highs. 87 in Boise, 88 in the mountain home and Ontario. And again, 74 in Stanley and 76 in McCall right now. Nice day in Twin Falls. We'll get a little bit of a breeze here in the valley tomorrow. Uh, that weak disturbance coming through will come through on Tuesday. But you see the clear skies over Idaho right now. Still just a few showers right along the uh, Montana-Idaho border. You see all of those areas in pink. And those are places where conditions are getting dry and weather is warming up. So there are fire weather warnings in those places. You see Sun Valley is one of the locations here, but that's Sun Valley, Nevada, not Sun Valley, Idaho. All of those places, people being encouraged to be very careful with fires. There's not much threat of a thunderstorm, but if a spark should get out of a fire pit and hit the dry ground, that could create a big problem. It could cause wildfire that would spread rapidly with the dry conditions. For the Treasure Valley tomorrow, look at more sunshine. We will get that nice refreshing breeze in the afternoon at 10 to 15 miles per hour up into the 90s. 93 is our forecast high for Boise. That's about four degrees warmer than average for tomorrow's date. The West Central Mountains, also a sunny day. 88 in Idaho City, but as you go up in elevation, you see those temperatures hovering right around the 80 degree mark after morning lows in the mid 40s. In Stanley, down to 37 tomorrow morning. If you're camping there, you'll want to make sure you have a nice sleeping bag, but 80 degrees in the afternoon. And in the Magic Valley, that same refreshing breeze out of the west at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Morning lows in the low to middle 50s and those afternoon highs hitting the low 90s. On Tuesday here in the valley, even though we do not expect any showers to come with that weak disturbance, our temperatures will drop. So 83 on Tuesday, 84 on Wednesday, those temperatures cooler than average. Then we go back to the 90s. Friday's afternoon high of 91 is right around where we would expect to be on that date. And then the weekend coming with temperatures around 5 degrees warmer than average up into the mid 90s. I got a message, uh, Madeline, from somebody who's watching at home and saying, hey, it looks like you have an antenna coming out of your head. And I did have my <laughs> rabbit ears up there. I'm old school, I don't have cable. Uh, but those things coming out of my head right there, those are antique golf clubs that I have hung up on the wall with all of my other sporting paraphernalia. It's part of your classic charm, Steve. What can we say? <laughs> Thank you, I like it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Steve.